If you're feeling cold here in the United States and rather strange and inclement weather, please don't think that global warming's all over and that it's all been solved. This is actually the splitting of the polar vortex, and we're going to talk about this in some detail. It's a fascinating subject, and it's happening right now. January 2014. Okay, this is seven months ago. The polar vortex ripped in half. What? Yes, the polar vortex ripped in half. Let's talk about the polar vortex and what it is before we get into it. The polar vortex is a persistent large-scale cyclone that circles the poles. And it is located up in the middle and upper troposphere, and it extends into the stratosphere. Pictures speak a thousand words. There's nothing like a picture to really, really understand what is happening. This is what's happened. In November, our polar vortex still looked pretty normal. It was a six-sided structure. And, you know, six is a very powerful um, number, right? Honeycomb and honey, honeybee hives have six sides. And snow, excuse me, snowflakes have six sides. Polar vortexes also have six sides. If you look at pictures of Saturn, you can see that polar vortex, and it's a perfect hexagon. The hexagon is the most stable and natural shape in physical existence. So in November of 2013, things were still OK. And you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, our happy polar vortex. Now in January, things started to go off. There was an invasion and a pushing from the Pacific, from the South Pacific and China. That big air mass pushed right here in Alaska and started to invade the Arctic, and it broke through the polar vortex. Normally, that would have been fought off, but our polar vortex is weak. So this is a pathology that we've just talked about. Now, when it broke into, when this hot air actually broke into the polar vortex, the center of the cold air split roughly in two, and the cold air streamed down either side on the continents. And this separated the polar vortex into two separate cold centers. This is a map um, that shows you what has happened a little further on. The first uh, was on January 5th. Now, this is January 27th. And you can see here it's pushing hard right in, and it split it. This is the United States. One body, and it, it came right down the Rocky Mountains, which is right here. That's where it got its initial pull, and it came into the United States. California experienced nothing of this. They're still in drought and hot. Now, this is a temperature anomaly map from March 22nd. So two months after the polar vortex split in half, we had an amazing event. The temperature anomalies in the United States went off the charts to the cold area. It also did in Greenland, but who cares? I mean, there's no one up there to experience it. But in fact, one of the, the little balls of cold from the polar vortex did go to Greenland as well. And Greenland over the winter was colder than it usually is there, which is amazing. But here in the United States, this is where the big news happened. Anybody who lives on the East Coast will remember that it was a horrific winter. And here in Colorado, where I live, it was a horrific winter. It was really, really cold. But it wasn't cold because the Earth is getting colder. It was cold because the polar vortex and that actual air mass that we were breathing came and settled on our heads and brought its cold with it. 